Welcome to Killer Kitchen. I'm your host, Hedgehog, and here are your contestants. On the right, from Detroit, Michigan, Chef Belvita. I think I have the opportunity to win and beat my other contestants. Okay, here's number two, but better than that. Chef Elmo from San Francisco. I like baking, and I'm going to win because I'm better. Also, I'm so ready to engage in this competition. Hashtag book out. Today we are celebrating the electric mixer. I'm going to be asking you questions along the way, and for every question you get three attempts at answer. If you get the question right, you get extra points for your dish. Herbert Johnson and Rufus Eastman invented the electric mixer, and it provided a lot for chefs around the world. The mixer has been a substantial part of my career. Without it, I don't know what I would do. Mixer is good. I love milk tea. First question, where did Herbert Johnson get the idea for the electric mixer? Elmo? He saw a baker mixing bread dough with a metal spoon, so he wanted to make something easier. How do you know that? Well, I'm just that smart. Good. What other inventions were thought of during the years of 1908? Elmo? The massage chair. The fidget spinner. No. The vacuum. Yes. The vacuum, as well as radio broadcasting and the washing machine. Question three. What problems did the invention solve? It let everybody bake faster with less work. Good job for the first point, though. Today we will be making a mug dessert. A mug dessert is anything sweet cooked in a mug. You have 25 minutes to prepare your dessert, and there will be a twist. Someone will get killed. To determine who will get the killer deal, we will play a little game of rock, paper, scissors. All right, so Belvita, you get to curse Elmo with the toy mixer. For you, so the electric mixer. Heck yeah. Now 25 minutes to bake your dessert, and remember, you'll be judged on the following. Taste, smell, appearance, and the points you can get from your question. So get set and start cooking now. Welcome back to Killer Kitchen, Belvita. So tell me, when did you begin to bake, and why did baking interest you? I began to bake when I was around 10 years old, and I have loved it since then. I baked daily, and there's a necessity to my life. I love to bake because I can be creative and express myself with all my foods and desserts. Have you ever encountered any accidents in your life of baking? Most definitely. Many spills, blow-ups, and accidental happenings, like dropping a fish in a cupcake. Have you ever been thankful to Herbert Johnson for inventing the needed invention of the electric mixer? Yes, I am very thankful each and every day for the invention. I use it daily and it is a go-to item. Has the invention of the electric mixer changed your baking career? I have no idea what I would do without that sweet electric mixer. I love it so much. It has definitely improved my career for the better by making things move faster and more efficiently. Tell me about your dish and what you are making. Today I will be making a strawberry souffle in a mix. It is basically a vibrant piece of art with many colorful flavors and I hope it can impress the judges. Welcome back to Killer Kitchen Elmo. Tell me about your education and how you got into baking from there. Well, I started my college years at Stanford, one of the top eating schools in the nation. Um, I went there for accounting, but that didn't work out so well. So I quit and I worked at Starbucks in Target for two years. Um, one day I got something in the mail and it said free baking classes. And that was just a big sign to me that I had to pick up the opportunity. So here I am now, baking. So you seem to know all the answers to the questions about the mixer. Did you ever have to study on it or read about Herbert Johnson? Yes, actually, once I got started into baking, I wanted to study the evolution of the utensils used for cooking and baking. I'm also very good at memorizing them. Do you think that the invention has ever saved when the recipes before it fell apart and failed? Absolutely. There was one time I forgot my mixer and I had to use my hands and it was a terrible disaster. So thankful that the mixer has been created. What would you consider your weakness to be in baking? Um, well, there's a lot, but the main one is I don't know when things are done. So usually I overcook or I burn things and it's really hard, but I think today I can get over it. Tell me a little bit about your dish and what you decided on making. So for my dish, I decided to make a cookie consisted of chips of chocolate and a dash of vanilla extract. This is a really good choice for me and I'm sure it will be exquisite. It's a complicated dish, but I got it in the bag.
Dang, this is hard, man. I'm so thankful Herbert Johnson created the electric mixer. This is so easy. changed over time. It became better. You need more than that. It was too expensive, costing $189 or $2,000 in our money and 65 pounds. Then, Egmont Aarons created a smaller, more portable mixer in 1946. The weight was cut down and the price was decreased $55. Right. What type of education did Herbert Johnson have before he invented the electric mixer? School education. He was an engineer for the Hobart Manufacturing Company. Right. Question six, did the mixer ever have a patent or copyright on it? Elmo? The first patent that can claim to be for an electric mixer was issued on November 17, 1885 to Rufus M. Eastman. Oh my goodness, but I still win. I believe that's <laughs> right. Now back to baking because there's only five minutes left. Five seconds left, contestants. Hands off your food. Now let's bring it over to the microwave. My chips fly look amazing. And my chips of chocolate look way better. You mean your chocolate chip cookie? And you mean your disaster? Whatever. Now for the taste testing. Mmm, very good, Belvia. Thank you. I give you a 9.5 in taste. Um, for smell, an 8.5. And for appearance, a 10. You get four extra points for the questions you answered, right? And, Lucky? Ew, what is that? Oh. Ew. Okay, I have to be honest. Ew, what did you put in there? Like dog poop or something? This is the best dish I've ever made. Um, it's just a chocolate chip cookie. I give you a three for taste. A 1.5 for smell, it smells like dirt. And 6.5 for appearance, it looks pretty good. And you got five questions right, so you get 20 extra points. So in total, she wins because she gets 32 points and you have 31. Yay, I won the money, thank you God, so much. I'm so excited, this is, I'm so grateful. <laughs> I literally don't even understand how I lost. I was doing so good. My chips of chocolate were like top level, top notch stuff. And then she comes in with her stupid soup. <laughs> I don't even get it because I got all the questions right and I'm definitely smarter than her. <laughs> that recording. How do you feel about winning Killer Kitchen? I feel so accomplished. I thought that she was gonna win because she seemed super duper smart. I mean, in the beginning, she was getting all the questions right, and it seemed like she had been baking for a while. But I mean, overall, like I ended up winning. I think my strawberry souffle ended up being like super good, and the judges really loved it. And I hope to start my own bakery one day with all the money that I made.